we are discussing important questions of cyber security and cyber ethics the max what can be the maximum length of a file when you are sending it by email it is 25 mb please remember now pq.com checks the database of website you can check the websites very easily but how can you check the servers or the database of a website using pq.com please give it a try how many blocks were there on world wide web in the year 1999 23 blogs were there and blogs you know is an online document written by a blogger or a person to share ideas or feelings over the net what is meant by program virus the virus that infects the file having extension like .exe .txt so any virus infecting a file a text file a soft copy of a file is called a program virus now next is what is worm the worm is almost identical to virus but it is a computer program that occupies large memory on the computer and affects the functioning of the computer system so it will replicate like a virus but it will occupy more space on your hard disk on your drive and will make your computer run at a slower rate so this is the difference next what is meant by boot virus now this virus takes the information while your computer is booting and affects the booting process so it will make your life hell when it is about operating um, at at a scale where it is targeting the booting operations of your computer system and the ex- example of boot virus is what stoned virus okay next is what is the difference between resident and non resident virus very easy resident uh, it is not president it is resident please correct it uh, um, virus okay the spelling is wrong resident virus resides on the what ram it resides on the ram which virus resident virus okay and um, the non resident virus res- uh, resides on the in the module of the program okay so this is the main difference it resides in the ram the what resident virus and the non resident virus resides in the module of the program now given example of resident virus junky okay now next question is what is meant by the term farming if you can see farming okay the farming means making bogus websites in order to crack in order to grab okay it it should be in order to grab on the ram okay so making bogus website in order to g- grab the customer hai na grab the customer so that password or money can be stolen from the customer online when he is he or she is using the website okay so uh, this is the so in field of farming means making bogus website in order to grab the customer so that password password can be stolen okay password can be stolen can be stolen okay so this is your answer and be very careful when you are using your passwords and your documents online because it may get what leak to a hacker and he or she may what steal your money okay next question is what is meant by the word farming in computer this is the same answer i have discussed what is meant by the word patent now patent is a document given by law to a given person or an organization so that the person can sell make use of invention exclusively now suppose i have made an a motor so i'll ma- i'll get a document from the law from the um, lawful authority that this is my invention i can make any variety of this motor and it is under my name no one can make a copy of this so that is a patent so getting a um, written document legal document over your invention or idea is your patent now what is meant by the word copyright copyright means you are getting a legal right that on copies on videos you see copyright sign so that means no one can steal your idea no one can copy your idea okay like it it may be applied to a music it may be applied to video audio song your writing uh, documents written documents okay so this is your copyright very easy next is what is meant by the word trademark now what is trademark trademark means when you are giving a symbol to your what product so that it becomes exclusive and it can be easily identified like various soft drinks are having their copyright copyrights and uh, trademarks also like pepsi is having p p s i cola coca cola is having C O C A C O L A. So these are trademarks, so that you can identify the product very easily, and you are having a right also that this is your product, this is your mark. No one can steal it, no one can copy it, no one can infringe it. Next is what is meant by computer ethics. Now, when you are operating on a computer, and what guidelines, what morals you should follow as a user, that is called computer ethics. Next, what is meant by the word cyber ethics. Now, when you are operating online, 
when you're operating on computer that is computer ethics when you're operating online when you're working online so what manners you should have what principle you should follow that like you should not make any public comment on any um, chatting website you should not make any uh, what um, hate speeches on the website so these are called cyber ethics next is what is meant by the word plagiarism plagiarism means plagiarism comes from the latin word which means kidnapping and here it means copying copying the idea or concept of invention so when you are copying the idea or what invention of a person or an organization okay so that is called what plagiarism we'll continue with more question in the coming videos thank you very much for watching